Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel, English and Literature with Carol. We've been dealing with the idioms, now we want to do uh, look at phrasal verbs. How many phrasal verbs did you know? How many phrasal verbs do you know? Do you normally use them in your conversation? Now, here are just but a few, 20 of them. And then uh, I'll also give you examples of those phrasal verbs in a sentence. We normally have a verb and an adverb article combining to make a phrasal verb. Phrasal verbs do not have the literal meaning. You have to know how they are used, but you, you may not be able to guess their meanings. Now, let us look at number one, backup. If uh, if you are talking about backup, that means there is something you're doing besides the main activity. So that you strengthen what you expected to do. So I can have a backup plan. If, for example, there is unreliable supply of electricity, I could have a generator as a backup. Or I, I could even uh, use it to show that... Um, to give strength to something else. That is a use of backup. If you bring up something, uh, bring up can be used in two ways. That means my parents brought me up. I will bring up that child myself. That means I'll nurture the child and feed him, I'll get him to school. That is bring up. I can also come up, uh, I can also mention something in a discussion. So you can bring up a subject by a, a mere mention of it, that is to bring up. Number three, I can say count on. I'm counting on you to get more subscribers to this channel. So to count on, that means I rely. If I, I, I'm waiting for you to make something happen, that means I count on you. Uh, if, you, if you become reliable, that means you are a person someone can count on. Uh, you are reliable, that is to count on. If you need to cut back, maybe you, you have been a spendthrift, that means you spend a lot. You can say, this month I'm planning to cut back on the supply of groceries, for example. That means you want to minimize the way you use money, for example. Drop off. If you're in a vehicle, for example, and uh, someone had given you a lift, that means if you're getting out of that vehicle, that person has dropped you off, to drop off. You can even have uh, sent an email, for example, or, or sent a parcel. Let me use a parcel because it could be physical. And then a, a parcel that is required uh, to appear at my gate if I, I, I go and deliver, to deliver is to drop off something. I, I can drop by. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'll drop by your place. That means I'll need to see you. I'll, I'll pay you a visit. To drop by is to pay someone a visit. And then we will end up chatting for many hours. That means in the long run, what will you do? End up. At the end result, at um, the end of it all, that is, we will end up chatting. That is, um, maybe if you are going to stay for a long time, you'll end up chatting. Uh-huh, I can't figure out what the answer is. That means if you want to uh, use that phrase of a figure out, figure out meaning, you may not know the answer. You, you do not know. It is not clear to you. It lacks clarity. That means figure out. I need to figure out the, the plan of the house. That's why I'm studying it very carefully because you need to discover something that you had not discovered. Mm -hmm. Get over. If you need to get over something or you, you, you need, it's a bad experience that you've had, now you are able to Put it behind you. That means you're okay. You're not even thinking about it. So you can get over. Maybe you can get over a breakup. 
That means now you are healing, you're in the healing process. That breakup has nothing on you because you have already gotten over it. And then you will keep on motivating yourself. You will not stop. To keep on, to encourage someone to continue doing something is to keep on. You won't stop now, but I'll keep on checking on you. That means it's something continuous. Keep on. I think I left out something. So leave out. Leave out. That means you overlook something. You may have planned it, but you, you, you have not mentioned it. Not intentionally, but you may forget something. That is to leave out. You can leave out your name. That means to exclude it. That is my phrase of verb number 11. I said, hmm, I'll need to look into that matter very carefully. That means I will investigate it and look at it carefully and give you a feedback. So if I'm looking into something, I'm keenly getting into details. That is what looking into means. I think you have just made up a story about you having... Uh, seen Mr. Seed, for example. That means uh, to make up is something fictional. It's, it does not exist. You, you are just forming it in your mind and you want people to believe. You can make up stories about your adventures in Kenya, yet you've never even been to Kenya. That means you're coming up with stories that do not even exist. You make up stories. You can also make up stories so that kids get entertained because uh, that is uh, through the use of imagination. Pick up. If I need to pick up, it's a pick up point. Pick up point. That means um, this is where maybe uh, so, uh, something needs to be taken and then you lift it. You can also use it to show that if you pick up something, that means you adapt a habit that you did not have. Picking up habits. Maybe you, you, are, you live with your grandmother and people say, ah, you sound traditional. You, you sound like you ever lived in the 1950s. That means the way your grandfather or your grandmother behaves is the way you behave. That means you have adapted to those behaviors of your grandmother. That means you picked up something. You want to behave like that person. Ah, it was a setup. I can set up equipment. Like now I need to get a whiteboard. I can set it up. That is to arrange so that it is seen. I can also plan to get you into trouble with you unaware, unaware of what is happening. I'll get you into trouble. That means I have set you up. That was a huge setback. Maybe you, you, you meet an obstacle that you did not expect. That is a setback. That means you had planned for excellence, maybe in uh, oh, coming up with a video, but now there's something stopping you. That is a setback. I need to work out, work out. It doesn't only mean when you're jogging and uh, jumping up and down, trying to lose a few calories, trying to lose a few kilograms here and there. You can also uh, talk about when you have a mathematical equation or you want to get an answer, that is to work out. You can also say you, your relationship did not work out. That means it was not able to proceed. That is to work out. Now, if I want to turn you in, I mean I have information that even the authorities do not know about. So I'll turn you in. I'll report you as a criminal. That means I'll notify the authorities. So... When you discovered that there was a thief next door, you turned him in. To turn someone in, that means this person has been doing, maybe going through criminal activities. Now you want others to find out. That is to turn in. And please, can I tag along? I need to tag you along. Come. That means I will influence you to follow me. You will be my company. If you tag along, that means... Most likely you'll be a third wheeler 
That means maybe you're, if you're going on a date and someone has come, you are the third wheeler, you have been tagged alone. You are, by the way, uh, someone that is tagged alone could be easily, easily influenced, so be very careful that not everyone will tag you alone, especially in the vices of the society. And you don't always need to show up. That means to appear, to show up, maybe in an event. Show up is to appear. How many phrasal verbs have you learned? I know some of them are quite common, but I know you have learned a lot. Thank you for being here. Share my information. Share, share, share. Subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you haven't. This is English and Literature with Carol. Bye.